Let's see. Will I? There we go. Now I'm live on Speak. Witch. Ooh. Up to gameplay. Change my windows. Really do earlier, but I like to do it now. And Definitely can hear my air conditioner. Okie dokie. And we're ready, yay. Let's see. Okay, I was wandering around the Zol planes. Uh, oh. Uh, okay, it's just the mailbox. Oh, I have no food. I should go get food. We'll wait for this dinosaur to pass, then we'll go get some food. Eliminate I'm just gonna use the mostly enemy. the mouse, I think. It's easier for me. <gasps> Hi, Maui! You come to look at it to show people how pretty you are. My sin is that I'm too powerful. Oh, careful, kitty. Come here. Come here. Come. come here. Come sit with me. Come here. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here. Oh, good kitty. Good kitty. Oh. Mm. You can sit in my lap. Oh, good, the dino passed. Oh, she wants to rub her head on the table. I think she's asserting dominance. She doesn't like it when I talk to people that aren't her. I think my cat is possessive. Luckily, she's a cat, so there's not much she can actually do to me for getting upset with me. Mostly, I just have to cuddle her. She demands to be cuddled. Named Spicy Surgeon. Let's see, what were we doing? Oh, right, we were in Octuel. Run back there. Might as well run through Lake Tulen. Pretty place. I like the flowers. So big and pretty. The water texture bothers me a bit when it gets very, like the moving part overlaps with the still part. Uh, where the textures are basically the same. That bothers me. Uh, oh, oh, that was a mistake. That was a huge mistake. Strong enemy, not a problem. Uh, run away. Oh, thank goodness we didn't wipe. <laughs> uh, I forgot that guy lurks there. Gee. Explore up behind? I probably haven't been over- Oh, no, wait, I did. Par Parisa's over there, I think. Yeah, there's my girl Parisa. I hope she gets a five-star version someday. I really prefer when they get a five-star version over an AS, just because then their original form never gets five stars, and they have an awkward number of points to distribute on abilities that they can never use. And it bothers me. It bothers me a lot. It shouldn't, but it does. It, it bothers me immensely. Sparkle. I should really fight more enemies so I can build better gear. Missed out on a lot of the future gear because I didn't do all the side quests in the future. I'm very attached to antiquity because this is where I spent a lot of time when I first started playing. Because uh, I obsessively defeated a hundred of each of these guys before I did the Tower Tower of Stars or whatever. Or No, I think it's before that. Before, before I got to time travel, I obsessively defeated a hundred of every of these. It was uh, not a good life decision. No, I don't. I don't need to do anything. We've got, we've got, we've got a uh, Aramis over here. Eliminated. I mean, cat, don't drink my wa- She's drinking my water. Okay, I guess it's her water now. Uh, quest. I forgot about this one. I think uh, as soon as I advanced the main quest a little, this one came back, came up. <gasps> a 
cat is so gorgeous. Oops, I clicked on the lady. Gooey has disappeared. Gooey. Cat is gorgeous. I want to pet it. Why can't I pet cats in this game? Huh, that person looks a little restless. I wonder if something's wrong. Oop, I'm leaning forward. You there, you look like a group of sturdy adventurers. Will you listen to what I have to say? They probably should have at least put Ricka in here, because... Not a group in the scene. Kitty? Please stop drinking my water. Sure, if you think we can help. My daughter Rui has gone missing. I've looked all over town for her without success. I'm exhausted. I can't do this all alone. Alone? Don't you have any other family? No, it's just the two of us. Sorry to hear that. I'd be glad to help out. What do you want me to do? Ah, such great-hearted kindness. Rui hasn't been gone long, so she can't have gone far. You ask around Actual and see if anyone has seen her. Thank you so much for your help. I should try to do voices for people, but I find it very embarrassing. So, uh, I'd rather not. Now we gotta go ask people around town. I like these little boats that are, like, for jugs. I, I don't think that's actually the purpose, but that's what it looks like. Miha's daughter, now that you mention it, mention it, I saw her with Marbo. Marbo's got to be the biggest rascal in town. I hope she's not getting caught up in some kind of trouble. I mean, based on the quest structure of talk to a people, talk to some other people, do a fight, and then talk some more, uh, she's definitely in trouble. Miha's daughter, Rui. Oh, I know her. I'm an old friend of Miha's. Actually, I just recently had a chat with Miha about an old story. That is not helpful at all. We're not looking for Miha, we're looking for Rui. Miha's daughter, you mean Rui. Of course, I know, I know I've known her since she was a baby. I even changed her diapers. What, have I seen Rui? Not lately. I believe I saw her head off towards Durissimo High Road with her friend Marbo. Something tells me we're going to go to the Durissimo High Road in search of her. Oh, Rui, where did you go? You find out anything? Does anyone know where she is? What? Marbo took her out on the Durissimo High Road? This is absolutely outrageous. That place is far too dangerous to wander around without protection. That rapscallion Marbo is leading my darling daughter astray. I told her not to spend so much time with him. Kids these days. Sorry about that. We have to focus on getting her back. There are monsters on the Durissimo High Road. She wouldn't decide to go there on her own. I don't think she's gone far. Could you keep an eye out for her? This child just wandered in and out. Scene. Funny because she goes out of the view. The cat stays in, so. Oh dang. That. Gotta take a moment to appreciate the beauty. Cat. Water jugs. Take a screenshot. I don't know. Very pretty. I like like uh that area a lot yes. look at little start oh it's rosetta yeah i'll work on that later we're gonna do this you're the fool to challenge me Foolous. i forgot yeah. that some of my characters are actually from antiquity because so many of them are from the future He's from antiquity, though, and she's from antiquity. Present, future, future, future. I like to do my quests. Uh, Pry! I don't have Pry yet. Hey, old travelers. I am Pry. As part of my sacred duties, I am doing good works and keeping the peace. Powerful monsters prowl the roads here about. Proceed with caution. If you run into difficulties, I hope you'll come to me. Servant of the Almighty, my help is free and available to all. Second, I need this. I'll be back to deal with you after I finish looting this chest that's just sitting here. 
How are you holding up, Brewy? We can take a breather here if you want. Sure. Who comes all though? Huh, those kids over there. Hey, you guys, is one of you named Rui? Um, yes, but who are you? I knew it. My name's Aldo. Your mom asked me to come find you. Lackeys of the old lady, are you? You can tell Miha that Rui won't be home for a while. Come on, Rui, let's go. Oh no, off they run. Whoa, slow down, Marbo. Hey, get back here. You could get attacked by monsters. Guess I'm the one getting attacked by monsters. Oh great, this is the last thing I need. I don't have time to play around with you. Alter just gets my normal voice because he has to talk a lot. Other people, I'll try to make them sound a little different. Attack! Oh wait, I forgot these are like quest enemies, so I can't one-shot them. Ooh, I'm gonna kill Suzette! I mean, as long as they're not picking on Tyramus, it's fine, I guess. Kinda bothers me, though. She's called Tyramus. I mean, I guess that makes sense in Japanese, but she's named after an Italian dessert. That's it! It's confirmed! I think Tiramisu is Italian. I don't actually know. I can't eat it because it has coffee in it. Well, depends how much coffee. Eat your first glass milk. Just a little farther to the palace. Huff, huff. This should be far enough. They can't catch up to us now. Can't pant. I'm so tired, I couldn't go another step. Sorry, I got a little carried away. How about we take another break? They, they didn't go very far. I'm gonna be able to just walk up to them. <laughs> Say, Marbo. Thank you. Coming with me, I mean. We haven't reached the palace yet. You can thank me when this is all over. Oh no! It's another one of them! Marbo! Shh! Rui, get behind me! Right. Phew, looks like we're in time to help. You. I'll talk later. Right now we need to concentrate on the battle. Hey, I gotta fight two! Two sets! How fancy! Oh no, he's done! Medical support activated. Just in time. This is not efficient at all. But it is what I will do. Yo. Again! Ooh, progress. Not bad. Yeah, whatever, we'll just... Again! Summoner's Ritual. Dragon does a little sand tornado and it dies. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Awesome, thanks for the help. You're stronger than you look. So, what are you two doing all the way out here anyway? If I tell you, you'll just run back and snitch on us to me, huh? No, Marbo, it's all right. We owe them an explanation now they've been dragged into this. I should never have kept all this a secret from Mother. See? I'm going to visit my father. Father? Miha told me didn't, you didn't have any family besides her. That's true, in a sense. Mother and father parted ways when I was still little. Mother never talks about him, so I really have grown up knowing only her as my only family. Some time back, I got talking to one of our neighbors who told me all about Mother's past. I learned from her old diary that my father resided in Palsiful Palace. She decided to go see him in secret. Mother would surely have forbidden me to go if she knew. I asked Marbo here to accompany me for protection. Um, well, I couldn't just say no. I sneak out of town all the time, so I thought just getting to the palace would be a breeze. Besides, I've been friends with Rui since we were kids. She and her mama have always had it tough, doing their best to scrape by with just the two of them. Thought it might be nice if Rui had someone to treat her kind, take some of that weight off her shoulders. 
That's quite a story. Well, you made it this far already. I'll come the rest of the way with you. Cheers. I got a bit. I got too big for my boots, thinking I could protect Rui all on my own. They're pretty clothes too. They're all colorful. There's a lot of monsters around here. Traveling by yourselves is dangerous. Thank you so much, both of you. I'm, I'm not doing a good job in voices. <laughs> That's settled. Time to hit the road. Next stop, Palsiful Palace. Ooh, it's right over there. Let's go! Oh, crap. No, back, 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 back. No, too late. Too late. Uh, oh, I need to run for my this life. This won't be so difficult. Run. No, we're gonna wipe. We're gonna wipe. <gasps> it didn't do an AoE. Let me leave. Yeah. Let me run away. Let me escape. Oh, thank goodness. That was upsetting. Okay, this time we'll wait. So we don't wipe. That would be good. And it can heal. So fancy. Oh, then. Run around with the map on the screen. This is just like Svator. I mean, aside from not being like Svator in any way, except for that. Hey, Rui, do you reckon it could be that guy over there? Yes, he does match the description from Mother's Diary. Move along, people. Nothing to get your father. Rui, is that really you? Goodness, how you've grown, my girl. Two of them spend hours catching up. Silently watch over them. It's a little creepy. So that's why you and Mother parted ways. It's sad, but I suppose in the end it was no one's fault. Glad I got to meet you, Father. You're everything I imagined. Rui, I'm sorry if I caused you any pain. It's alright. Mother's always been kind to me, and I have good friends like Marbo too. I'm very happy with my life, Father. Rui... You must be the famous Marbo. Thank you for taking such good care of my daughter. Even if our circumstances keep us apart, I know Rui will be alright with you by her side. You can count on me, sir. We better make our way home. Mother's probably word sick by now. Allow me to escort you back. I can call in some favors and get someone to cover my shift. Gonna get teleported back to- yep. Nice. Tell me how what happened. But that's what all this was about. I always avoided talking about Rui's father. The memories were too painful, but she had a right to know. I shouldn't have let my past blind me to my daughter's needs. Some mother I am. Don't say that, mother. Rui. I shouldn't have left without telling you, but I wanted to meet father so badly. I needed to know what kind of person he was, what happened between you, why I was born. I would have liked it if you told me more about him, but I understand now why you didn't. I love you dearly, Mother, and I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Rui. Oh, brave travelers, thank you for your help. And Marbo, I owe you an apology. I misjudged you, lad. You care about Rui much more than I realized. Thank you for protecting her. Miha. I know you and Rui have been through some hard times. You've always been so protective of her, too. Anytime you need help, just let me know. I may be a rapscallion, but I'll do whatever I can. Hello, Grimthorpe 101. Welcome. I better head home. I'm not so great with the sentimental stuff anyway. Goodbye, Marbo. Zoom, off he goes. See you later, Marbo. Thanks again. Rui, I'm sorry if I caused you any pain. Honestly, Mother. Father said the exact same thing. You really are like two peas in a pod. Seriously, though. Even if I did feel like something was missing, I have you and Marbo and everyone in town, so I've never been lonely. You have nothing to apologize for. Living among such good, kind people, I have all the happiness I could want. Oh, Rui. Traveler, you have my most heartfelt gratitude for bringing my daughter home. I can't thank you enough, either. I would never have gotten this far without you. Come now, Rui, let's go home. Off they go. 
Family, huh? Well, can't stand around here all day. Time to go. Yes, Aldo, family. But you're trying to rescue your sister, remember? Maybe he doesn't remember? We've done a lot of time traveling since then. <gasps> it's the kitty! I love this kitty so much. It's so fluffy. Here's the inn. Got beat up by a, uh, by a horror I accidentally wandered into. Like a uh, genius of pathfinding. What I am. HP and MP completely restored. Kitty. That's Bar Baru Baru Baru. Oh wait, it's quest. It's a quest. I must do it. Hog champ snake. Very loot. I already looted your barrels. Oh, there. Oh dear, I had a feeling this might happen. Ah, you there. Will you talk to my husband again? Actual, the actual voice part two. Imuli and Actual is still worried about a strange voice he can hear every night. Ah, hello again. Scattered the reeds around my house and haven't seen a rainbow mo since. The only problem is, I'm still hearing that ghostly voice every night. Should have known it was too good to be true. This voice is unmistakably human, not something made by a moa. And I ask you to investigate this matter again. You can stay the night just like before. Let my wife know when you're ready to turn in. E, time to ghost hunt again. Except, I don't know if it's a ghost. I guess it's a human, but... Supernatural investigation time. Thank you for agreeing to investigate that strange voice again. Please use this bed here. Good luck on your vigil. Wee! Night falls. Everyone is asleep. One more. A woman's voice echoes from the shadows. Want more bargains? I got more bargains. Take a look at this. Only 2,500 git. So they sleep in separate beds and they have a bed just hanging around for guests? I guess so! You know, sometimes you just need a lot of beds in your single room house. Actually, they might have two rooms. Why is this woman selling stuff in the middle of the night? Why is Ravenna so tall? Hello, come to buy some fruit. My prices will have you coming back for more. This must be who was making all the noise. We tell her she's keeping people awake. Oh gosh, I had no idea I was causing folks any trouble. I have a condition that means I can't go out in the daylight, so I've always just carried on my business at night. I'd love to leave town and set up shop somewhere else, but there's one problem with that. The road to Palsiful Palace is full of monsters, and my precious little pickle is, too, is scared to death of them. The worst of the bunch are these things called colas. Sounds like the lady's pet is afraid of some monsters. You offer to help by slaying some colas. You do that for me? How kind. Colas lurk on the Dorissimo High Road. Seven of them should do the trick, I think. Ah, yes, I just need to go kill seven wild animals so that she can make her way to the palace. I see. Well, that clears up this mystery. The Dorissimo High Road! Oh, the waterfalls. I was admiring them earlier. They're very pretty. They're not really waterfalls. The water... The magic water jugs. This is Rosetta's first quest. I have the problem, though, that I don't really like Rosetta. Unleash the power of the spirit world! But we will do it eventually. Huh? Uh, because we need to, to unlock her abilities. Although some of the later characters where their quests power. are in... Require you to have completed a lot of the game. Don't require you to uh, do the quest to unlock their third level ability, their uh, second and third level abilities. Probably because um, that would be a massive pain if you're just starting. Why do I have a feeling this won't be the end of the voices? No, it's totally gonna finish now. It's definitely not gonna have a part three. <laughs> Excuse me. My sin is that I'm too powerful. Ooh, am I allowed to go to the Karuri? I am. I'm allowed to go to the Karuri High Road. I don't think I want to be at the Karuri High Road, but I can go there. I think it might be too high level for me. 
I'm just gonna run back and forth. Pry! I'm just gonna run back and forth here, uh, trying to kill these stupid colas. These aren't colas. They're useless to me. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. Need enemies that I want to kill. Whee. Goodness, this is what I did a lot of back in the days before there were enemy encounter up badges. I just, I mean, it's still what I do, but it doesn't take as long to kill a hundred of an enemy in areas where you don't go all that much. My sin is that I'm too powerful. Whee. I don't think there's as many of these, um, like, kill whatever number of whatever thing quests anymore. I could be totally wrong about that, but I feel like I haven't it's had to do any in a long time. Surrender. I kind of forgot Help. they existed. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. Seems kind of like like kind of lame game designing. I mean, you don't actually need to kill a hundred of each of the monsters. I just obsessively do it for the rewards, basically achievements. Locked down and ready. It's uh. It's um, I guess a me problem. My sin is that I'm too powerful. I mean, I guess it's it's sort of their fault for giving me an award for doing it because then I want to do it. But it's not actually necessary for anything in the game. <laughs> well, there are certain things you have to farm, but that, that's usually in dungeons also. So it's different. Ow, my eye. Nothing less. Why is my eye bothering me? Ow. I shouldn't rub it, probably. I, I think that usually makes things worse. Over here is the safest place. Well, that one would be safe too, but it's so much shorter. Uh, because of that horror uh, wandering on those two other paths. I think there's one up, up that way somewhere that I can run around on too, but... Nothing less than perfection. Why... Why he sound like a dwarf? I mean, I guess it's just the accent that makes me think dwarves, because dwarves are always, like... Scottish. Irish, for some reason. Why are dwarves Scottish? Or Irish? I can't tell the difference. I don't think they're Irish, though. I think maybe they're Scottish. doing so well. I wonder if my quest tells me. In no, 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 no. I want in progress. In progress subquest. Three. Okay, three down, four to go. Oh, it's opening. Ah, I don't understand why this runs worse on PC than it does on phones. How do you even do that? I mean, I don't do games, so I don't- I don't know. I assume it's an issue with transferring a game design for a phone to a PC, but... Probably because dwarves are portrayed as very manly and Scots are stereotypically manly. I didn't know- I didn't know that Scottish people were manly. I will keep right. this in mind for the future. Take ten, everyone. I don't really- I don't think I probably need it for the future, but I will keep it in mind anyway. I'll probably forget, unfortunately. Out. I like the background, so that's probably part of why I like this game a lot. I just like the art style a lot. I think it's pretty. No! We're out of MP! Time to eat food! Food! If I see enough to knock anyone's sock socks off, but you'll want to come back for more. And MP completely restored. I don't have Pry. That's- he's a- he's one of the, um... One of the four-star characters. Well, he's gonna get a five-star soon. Probably one of the next Unleash updates, the which is very the cool. World. I mean, you have to do like an entire side quest thing to do it I think, to get it. I think, but nothing less than perfection. Maybe not. Maybe it's not attached. I don't know. I don't have him anyway, so I guess it doesn't make a big difference to me right now. Your favorite War Thunder streamer slash YouTuber is Scottish, so you just think of him. <laughs> Well, is he very manly? Pride 
comes before the fall. Ooh. Oh, no, I don't want to go over there. I think, I think I could probably handle the enemies over there, but I don't need to fight them. Cat does not try to take part in combat, he just fades out of existence. And then he faces back in after the combat's over. Did you see my graceful moves? Look, whoop. Phased it out, and then he phased back in. This cat has magical powers. I mean... Not in the stereotypical manner, no. He's a rather sensitive and thoughtful lad. That's very nice. Did you see my graceful moves? Ooh. I'm going fast! I want to jump. I can't jump. It, it normally doesn't bother me, but if I'm using the mouse- or not the mouse keys, the, uh, the A- AWSD, whatever you call those, I was to move, uh, not being able to jump bothers me a lot. I, I really no like jumping. I just summoner. jump. Not not in a, an efficient manner, just in a... Uh, I like to jump constantly while I move, if I'm not doing something else or thinking about something else kind of manner. Plasmilk. Plasmilks are not coalesces. No verticality for you. But I'm vertically challenged in real life. Let me have more height in games by jumping. Jumping very high. Unrealistically high, because that's fun. Locked down and ready. That's why you need your booties. Yes, I need my boots. Then I can be almost normal height. Actually, I think 5'7 is, is normal height, but. Wait, was that? Was that enough of them? Was that enough? It was enough! Back to... I keep trying to press M to open the map. But it doesn't work like that for some reason. No! I keep getting attacked right as I try to go into town. So rude. Praise be. Let me go! You can tell when it starts loading the town because it, lo it freezes up. Sometimes it's actually right before it starts loading the town and it's loading a battle, and I'm never quite sure which. Thank you for agreeing to investigate the strange voice again. Please use this bed here. Good luck on your vigil. I'll see you in the morning. Night falls. Everyone is asleep. You want more bargains? I got more bargains. Take a look at this. A steal at 4,300 git. Oh, it's you folks again. Did you send out the monster's ranks okay? You tell her you defeated seven coalesces. I think I killed them, not defeated them. Well, I mean, I guess I defeated them and killed them. That ought to make the road safe enough. Guess it's time I moved on from this town. After tonight, I'll make my way to Palisiple Palace. Come say hi if you're ever in the neighborhood. Take care now. Goodbye. Off she goes. Solve the mystery of the woman's voice. I'm guessing that some of the performance issues come from the phone version loading and transitioning set sections a lot and being more optimized for it than the PC version. Probably. It does lag when- well, not lag, it hangs a little when you go in and out of uh, the map areas as well, but not as bad as this one. I see. It must be hard for the old woman to avoid daylight all the time. Can't help but sympathize. Business is everything to merchants like us. All's well that ends well. I hope she has better success elsewhere. I mean, you could just go to the, the palace and then be inside the palace. So I guess it's got windows everywhere. That might not work out for her, actually. It would probably be even worse if you were running on a hard drive, since memory access would be even slower. I think this is running on my hard drive, actually. I don't think this is installed to my SSD. I'm not sure, though. It might be installed to my SSD, because it's not that big.
I guess we can do Rosetta's quest. For here. Rosetta's quest. A winged god. Rosetta, an inquisitor to a religion in the western continent, was apparently tasked to look into the priests and churchgoers of this continent. Kitty! Need a meow! Oh well, hello there. Are you looking for some attention? Or still just a little kitten. Where did your parents run off to? Meryl. Oh, wait, it, it voice acted itself. Could it be that your parents abandoning you was a test from the light? If that is the case, does it, that case as a servant of the light, I would be more than willing to take you in and look after you. What's this? It seems you're not alone anymore, little one. Uh, it might not have issues on your SSD since the phone version is loading off of solid state memory as well, so they should have a closer ratio. Mmm, that makes sense. How wonderful. In that case, I'm afraid I must be on my way. So don't kidnap cat children. Although, I think the cats are leaving and not you. What a relief, eh, Rosetta? That kitten's parents came for it. How did you, Aldo? How did you, Aldo? Were you watching me from the shadows? You even managed to hide your presence from me. You seem to be a natural at keeping an eye on people, Aldo. I wasn't keeping an eye on you. I just thought that I might scare the kitten off if I said anything. Oh, is that so? I'm still not totally convinced you weren't watching me. But I suppose I will let you off this time. After all, the one and only Aldo wouldn't lie about that. Um, you sure do like cats, though, don't you, Rosetta? What gave you that idea? I hold no particular fondness for them, really. Huh? The way you were speaking so kindly to that cat, I was sure you were a cat person. Well, Aldo, I am a servant of the light. I just thought that I would share its blessings and benevolence with that poor creature. Oh, really, now? Oh my, how refreshing to have such a suspicious gaze turned upon me. Usually that gaze is my own. Suspicious, huh? Does that have something to do with the work you do with the Order? You told me before that you were an Inquisitor, but what kind of work do you actually do? I suppose one so far removed from the Order would have no reason to know. But it's simply my job is to go around and have people recite the teachings of the Order to see if they understand them. Occasionally, I come across adherents who are mistaken in their faith. So, you ask people who misunderstand a bunch of questions. Yes, something like that. Although, asking those questions and investigating takes quite some skill. It's rather tricky. It's tricky, huh? Well, if you need any help, I'm happy to lend a hand. Oh my, how lovely. I was just about to set off on some business, in fact. Would you be so kind as to help me? Yeah, of course. Thank you, Aldo. It is truly a blessing from the light that such a, a wonderful thing could happen. Aha, that's a bit much, don't you think? Why is there so much talking? All right, so now what? Ah, yes. First, let us head for Palsiful Palace. Uh, I like the quest accepted sound. It's very cheerful. It makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something. Nope, 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 that's not the way. I need to go the correct way to the palace, because that's where all the quests are now. Rai! He's also from the Western Continent. He's part of the order that she's from. He's a priest, though. She's uh, an Inquisitor. Is that I mean? Flaz milk! Don't understand what they are. They're like blue flying creatures with bunny ears. Here now. Run away like cowards. <gasps> Sparkle. I like these blue flowers. Flowers are very nice. The buildings are very nice. That over here just yo. Yo. How's your adventure going? My training's got me in tip top condition. Just say the word and I'll treat your enemies to a taste of my blade. Long as they're not. Oops, slip of the top. It's nothing, nothing at all. 
this cat is so fluffy. No, I don't want to do combat right next to this fluffy cat. I mean, he phased out of existence. But... Victory! Oh, so beautiful. Into Palsiful Palace! So lovely. Shiny. Ooh, the floors are shiny. Uh, that's a different quest. I don't want to pick up. Different quest right now. It must be on the second floor. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, blue. That's Rosetta's quest. Hey, Rosetta, what sort of business do you have at Palsiple Palace? Well, to put it simply, I must do a little investigation of a particular priest. But does that mean that this priest person has misunderstandings about the faith? Now, that is not for certain yet. Actually, the priest who I'm going to see seems to have rapidly gained disciples as of late. I want to find out for myself just what splendid missionary work has been going on. I see, and that missionary work must be happening at Palisiple Palace, right? Yes, I have heard that their gatherings are usually around here. It is written in the holy text that the savior who will deliver salvation to this world is flanked by winged beings. Oh my, it seems like they are right in the middle of a sermon. Okay, Aldo, let's slip into the congregation and have a listen. Got it. Oh, and just so you know, no matter what I say from here on out, and no matter what I do, just stay calm, okay? I can't have any strange comments or reactions from you. Tend to wear your heart on your sleeve, Aldo, so you can understand my worry. I mean, why did she bring him along, then? I mean, pretty much because he has to be here for all the quests for some reason. There's like one character who has quests that he's not there for. I do. Well, companion character. I do? Well, I'll be careful. Thank you. Now then, are you ready? Let's go. Look at all these adorable generic people. Once more, I repeat, in the holy texts, it is written that our savior is accompanied by winged beings. And as that is so, the light that hath sent the Savior to us, what form must it take? That's right, it must be a winged being itself, mustn't it? Sure sounds like it. Lo, just as is written within the holy text, the light showed itself to this world long ago. And though long hath its presence been hidden, the winged being must yet be in this world. If we might only find the whereabouts of this winged being, this world should become a paradise and we would all be granted eternal youth and life. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. Paradise, I wish that I could see it, if only for a moment. To bring about that paradise, you must believe in the light. Only those who offer their daily prayers to the light will be guided to paradise. Well, I think I shall wrap up today's sermon here. Make sure that you all study the holy texts, and don't forget to offer your prayers to the light. Thank you so much. With that, I leave the rest to you. Go forth and spread the light's blessing. Yes, please leave it to me. Ow, oh, my eye. There's a whole uh, side quest thing. Side, it's not really a quest. Side expansion story thing about the western continent. And uh, it's been a long time since I saw this earlier stuff, so it seems like... Uh, they were a bit inconsistent on what exactly they wanted the Western Continent's faith to be originally. What a lovely story. I have not seen your faces before. Are you new disciples, perhaps? Yes, I have recently learned of the Order of the West, and I have resolved to serve the light. Huh? Huh. Er, cough. Ahem. I think there's something in my throat. I hope I haven't caught a cold. Inconsistency in a phone RPG? Never. I mean, I imagine the problem is more that they developed it sequentially. Not sequentially. But basically, they couldn't go back and change things when they changed things later on, like you can when you release a game all at once. Ah! I guess it's an issue with long, like, ongoing series, too, if you change how something is, and it's like, it doesn't fit in with your earlier stuff, and then you either have to just, and you don't notice, like, ignore it, or try and awkwardly explain it. 
I never, I never know which is better, awkwardly explaining it or just ignoring the inconsistencies. Because sometimes if you just ignore them, they're not as noticeable as long as it's not like a huge glaring issue. How terrible. I pray for your swift recovery. I am yet unstudied in the holy texts, but I hadn't the slightest idea that the light bore wings. What a wonderful story that was. That's right, the light does indeed bear wings. That is the conclusion that I have reached after many years of studying the holy texts. Truly, that really is something. How surprised I was to find out. I intend to present this finding to the Order. Until then, however, please keep it to yourself. Oh, I understand. He doesn't, he doesn't see the Inquisition coming. Jeez, Aldo, didn't I tell you not to do anything weird? I'm sorry, I couldn't stop myself in time. And also, what was that? That unnatural-sounding cough. It sounded like you were about to burst out laughing. No, I didn't have time to think, so I did the first thing that came into my head. Oh my, I guess it can't be helped. Please try to be more composed next time. I, I don't think he's ever good at that. Yeah, I get it, Rosetta, but why did you lie? If I had told them who I really am, they would all be on their best behavior. It makes understanding a person's true character unnecessarily difficult. But she's running around in her Inquisitor uniform! It doesn't make any sense! Oh, I see. You are here to investigate them, after all. I'm sorry, I just realized that. I've played through her in this quest before, and I didn't realize it then. <laughs> and she's, like, an important Inquisitor, too, so you'd think they'd, you know, maybe know who she is. Like, not, maybe they've never seen her, but they'd know of her. Makes sense that you would be on your guard, then. That's right. You know, you might look rather naive, but you might be rather good at exposing people's secrets, Aldo. It's all right as long as you don't think about it too much. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much everything, really. <coughs> Excuse me. How about it, Aldo? Want to try joining me as an Inquisitor? There is no way I could do that. I don't even believe in that light thing. That isn't an issue at all. It might even be better that you're not a believer. Huh? Inquisitors don't? Hee hee hee, only joking. Oh, are you new disciples? Thank you for joining the congregation today. Please accept this token of the light's blessing. We're handed 300 gift. Please let me keep it. I hope to see you at the next gathering as well. Take care now. Um, are you sure it's okay to take that? Yes, it's fine. It's a blessing of the light, after all. Is it normal for people to pass out money like that in your order, Rosetta? No, this is the first time I have come across a priest who does that. Wait, what? So they're doing it by themselves? Well, it would appear that way. However, our order also performs volunteer work. Since it's a blessing of the light, it could be interpreted as giving alms. What if the reason for the sudden increase in adherence is... Yes, that is likely a big factor. Human beings have a spot, soft spot for an easy profit. I was so looking forward to finding out what sort of incredible missionary work they were doing. What a bummer. They were just handing out money. Oh, Aldo. Better than expected. This is an actual blessing from the light. Teehee. Well then, Aldo, let us press that young lady from before a little harder, shall we? You don't want to ask the priest? It is very important to hear what everyone connected to the target has to say beforehand. I believe that they should still be in the palace, so let us search. Uh, oh, cat! Cat! Beautiful cat! Why are the cats so beautiful in this game? Cats are generally fairly beautiful. Or cute. I love cats. That's why I started playing this game. It was like another E and a cat across time and space. Cats? I'll play that. And then I didn't run out of, like, stamina or something, so it just let me keep playing. And I was like, this is great. Huh? I only see the girl. Looks like the priest already left. How convenient. This will make asking questions all the more simple. Okay, Aldo, please cooperate with me this time. 
Sure, I'll do my best, but what exactly do you want me to do? Well now, it's very simple. Each time I ask you a question, just reply with, That's right, boss. What? You will understand soon. Now then, let's go. Mm. Oh, you're the people from earlier. Did you need something from me? Yes, you seem to be helping out with the order services, yes? Yes, the priest is very busy, so I wanted to help out where I could. My, my, how very devout of you. He must also be so delighted. You two seem to trust each other very much. You seem quite close. Close? What are you saying? You don't have to hide it from me. Having a right-hand woman to help manage the church is very important. If the priest has a partner around, I think I could easily make a recommendation to HQ for him to head a new division. Isn't that right, investigator? Huh? Uh, uh, that's right, boss. Um, what's all this about partners and division heads? And what do you mean by investigator? What? You mean you and the priest aren't together? No. Well, I always hoped that we could be someday, but... Oh my, it seems that I have made a grave misjudgment. In that case, I'm afraid... Without a partner, there is no way that I can recommend him as a new division head. Isn't that right, investigator? That's right, boss. Oh, what a pity. I had wanted to entrust a new order division to him, too. Excuse me, what exactly do you mean? Well, truthfully, I have been assigned with very important secret business, so I shouldn't tell, but... And you promise not to tell anyone, not even the priest, about us and about what you heard here? Yes, I promise. Please tell me more about what's going on. The plan has been devised by the Order's HQ in the Western Continent to establish a new branch. We were dispensed to nominate a priest to entrust that new branch to. Isn't that right, Investigator? That's right, boss. Our priest is our first candidate for the position. Wow, that's just wonderful. He would be perfect for that position. However, it is a difficult task to run a branch alone, without a partner. Well, I'm here. While I respect your enthusiasm, there are many expenses involved in running a church branch. That's not a problem. My father has a big business and he gives me money to support me. Does that mean that the blessings of the light are... Yes, I ask father for funds every time I come to a sermon. I see, so you and your father are both quite devout. How wonderful. In that case, it seems that I can go ahead with my recommendation for division head. If there was any sort of noteworthy events that which occurred through his faith in the light, it might help tip the scales. Isn't that right, investigator? That's right, boss. <coughs> there is. I'm the only person he told. No, oh, really. What might that be? He, well, he met the light. That's right, the light, that winged being. What? He met the light? Wow, that is truly something. I'm sure you think so too, don't you, investigator? That's right, boss. If that's true, then the position of division head or even the Supreme Cardinal of the Order isn't out of, out of the question. Speak the truth, he even let me meet it once too. That's where he is right now, meeting with the winged light. I see, where is he now exactly? The Karuri High Road. That is where the, that is where the he, that is where he always goes to meet with the light. Spelling errors. Well, I guess that's more of a writing error. In that case, we shall go and meet him. My, my, with this, our recommendation should be a sure thing, right, investigator? That's right, boss. Now then, let us head to the Karuri High Road, investigator. Ah, the Karuri High Road. I was avoiding it because I was afraid it might be too tough. But I guess now's as good a time as any to find out if I can deal with it. To the Karuri High Road. Karuri High Road. It's kind of swampy, so I like it. Swamps are cool. I don't think there's any alligators in there, though. There's weird, weird creatures, though. Tragically, no alligators.
There's milk. Oh, let's check. Oh dang, I didn't, uh... I have food. My sin is that I'm too powerful. Don't have food. Oh well, time to just cope with being weak. Let's shift her to the back line. We have someone effective on the front line. I'll just take Felmina from the back line. Okay, keep it over there. Oh, some more horrors. Look at these cool jungle plants. Look how big that flower is. They're all such big flowers. Eliminate. And I guess the these are actually small plants, not jungle. But they're very pretty. Single enemy, single enemy, single enemy. Just single enemy attacks. Okay. They have AoE attacks. Target acquired. Okay, you'll survive. Rika. You can cope. I believe in you. Take down. Is that I'm too powerful. Rosetta? Not Rosetta. Thelmina, I guess, is one of the characters who has, like, a, uh, special weapon, so she doesn't reflect the weapon you give her. Which is a bit awkward for when they give them, uh, manifest weapons. Not sure that's actually a sin. Don't worry about it. She's just... annoying. <laughs> I shouldn't be so rude to the characters. But I am. Fire. Yeah, see, she uses this thing, so if she ever gets, like, a uh, manifest, instead of being the weapon depicted in her art, it'll just be, like, a recolor of that. Uh, well, it is the weapon in her art, but the thing is she's already holding the weapon in her art normally. There's several characters like that. There is one character who doesn't have an, an, a weapon like that, and got an, a weapon that's different from their 5-star art for their manifest. That's because they had a different character's weapon in their 5-star art. Hey, Rosetta, do you think there's actually a winged light? Hmm, who knows. However, I've not seen any mention of it anywhere in the holy texts. That means that priest is one of those heretics you talked about, right? Cannot say that for certain yet. And furthermore, it is not the place for an inquisitor to determine one whether one is or is, or is not a heretic. Oh, really? Then who does decide? One suspected of heresy themselves. If the individual acknowledges it, it is heresy. And if not, then it is not. Huh. I don't get it. Heresy's a bad thing, isn't it? That's right. It is not sanctioned by the Order. So, then why would anyone ever admit to being a heretic? Heretic. Well now, that's when we step in and use our skills as Inquisitors to make them admit it. How exactly does that work? These are some useless Inquisitors. <laughs> Everyone has a hidden side to them. It doesn't matter if they are your neighbor or your lover. Or even your parents. Huh? Rosetta? That hidden side is a secret that every individual wants to hide. And why are they hiding it? Because they have violated the laws of man, or they have gone against the teachings of the light. As inquisitors, we reveal that hit person's hidden side and expose their sins. Their hidden side and sins, huh? You're no exception either, Aldo. Me, but I don't think I have any a hidden side or anything. Oh, then perhaps the information I received was incorrect. Did you not approach your sister say, while saying kindly softly? Huh? What do you mean? Kindly softly? Oh, I know. I must have just been talking to Fainy, 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 about how to handle Prisma. Oh, you remembered? It was just a little joke. This makes... I was gonna say, this makes my brain hurt because she's never met his sister. Just a second, how did you know that, Rosetta? My my, I will leave how I came to find out about it to your imagination. What's more, we can't time travel yet! She's never even been to his time period! But you see, don't you? When you thrust a person's sins before them, they crack. But hold on, that wasn't a sin or anything. Well, whatever you say, Aldo. Anyway, nobody wants their sins exposed to the world, do they? Everyone admits to their heresy in the end. Is that a threat? No, no, no. By facing one's own sins, one can reconsider and repent. Hmm. Bird. 
You hear something just now? Yes, I heard it. What an ominous cry. Look at it go. Okay. That was... I see. So that's what's going on. Oh, great light. You have graced me with your presence. My light, your worshippers are steadily increasing in number. Offer our prayers to you every day. Do you hear them, I wonder? Rawr. Ah, thank you. You shall surely cleanse the world with holy fire and bring about a paradise of everlasting youth and eternal life. My, my. That sounds like a pl splendid plan. Who's there? So this is the winged being that you spoke of, is it? You, you came to convene with the light? Exactly, I came to see it with my own eyes. Just as you said, it does indeed bear wings, but what leads you to believe that this is the light? Where exactly did the holy text talk about this paradise of everlasting youth and eternal life? There are passages in the texts about salvation. That salvation must mean cleansing through the holy fire of the light. How's that supposed to bring salvation? Everyone will just die. Nay, the cleansing fire of the light bequeaths the mystical power of everlasting life. When I first encountered the light, I witnessed this miracle myself. It was battered and close to death at that time. Close to death, you say? It looks healthy enough now, though. That's right. As I approached with the intention of helping it, the light enveloped itself in its own flame and arose, reborn and flapping its wings majestically. Is it even possible for something like that to happen? On seeing that shining visage and witnessing its immortality, I was convinced. This must be the light. Therefore, followers of the light shall be cleansed by this holy fire and be granted immortality. My, my, what a wonderful tale. Yes, no doubt about it, we have been blessed by the light. What? Are you serious? Oh, I'm so glad you understand. Oh yes, I understand perfectly. You are, without a doubt, guilty of heresy. What? You dare to deny the light? O oh, light, deliver your divine wrath. Smite down these villains who would so quickly dismiss your existence. Grew. <laughs> Did a big hop. What are we gonna do? Defeated, of course. We shall prove that this is not the light. Okay. Little Life baby, precious thing. little baby bird, young sacred bird. That one, so it doesn't resist it. You can't hide anything from Target me. Acquired. <gasps> Oops. It can damage. Pull yourself together. With enough poking, it will die. Pull yourself together. Come on. Yeah. You guys can do it. Yay, they did it. All right. Take ten, everyone. Flower. Abella's level 18. What is the meaning of this? This is blasphemy, heresy. Still don't understand. This is no light, just an ordinary monster. No, this is, it is the light, it has to be. Enough of this nonsense. I hereby accuse you of heresy. What? Claiming that the light bore wings and for worshiping an ordinary monster in its stead. Speaking of a paradise of eternal youth and life and finally for recruiting disciples through bribery. These actions are all heretical misinterpretations of the Order's teachings. You're wrong. I am not a heretic. My teachings are accepted by everyone. I see, so you still won't confess. In that case, I have no choice. I shall inform you of my name. What good is telling me your name going to do? I am Rosetta. Though, so, you must have heard my, of my name, yes? What? Did you say Rosetta? It can't be. She who accused her own parents of heresy when she was but a child. 
Rosetta, the child of judgment. Rosetta, you, your own parents? There has never been one accused by the child of judgment who did not confess to heresy. This Rosetta, she can even convince those free of sin to make a confession. Oh, those are all rumors, of course. After all, child of judgment. <laughs> We in the interrogation room are especially talented at unearthing a person's sins. Teehee. Ugh. So, what's it going to be? If you would just admit to your heresy here and now, we won't have to call you to the interrogation room. Personally, I really don't recommend the interrogation room. If you end up there, you'll probably end up confessing to an awful lot more than just heresy. Teehee. Every single Inquisitor is a very enthusiastic and pious follower. Why is she such a creep? I confess, I am a heretic. A wise choice. For your sins of heresy alone, you would have been forced to undergo re-education at HQ. Well then, before I return to HQ, I have one more order of business. Please accompany me to the main gate of Palsiple Palace. I guess we're just leaving that bird to reincarnate itself. Bye, bird. Ow. Sorry, I smacked my mic with my hand. That was, uh, not good. I like these little purple fire things. They're very cool. Just got an achievement. So Novice Walker. Enemy. I've walked... Steps. I'm not sure how many steps, but apparently enough steps to get that achievement. Wow. Huh. Maybe Terrorist switch my party back so that this? she's in the front line again now that she's got uh, most her, oh, well, not most, but she's got some MP back, so. Yeah, you can definitely hear my air conditioner. That's a little annoying. Exterminate. Oh well, I hope it's not too bad. That's all. Oop. Kick Salmina. You can't make it out? That's good. That's good. I think it's just kind of a buzz in the background. I think, uh, hopefully. Walk one ten thousand steps in the field. Whee! I was gonna say I'm an expert walker, but clearly I am a novice walker. That's what the achievement says. Unleash the power! These guys have, like, mango heads with teeth. I don't like to think about it too much. I did not fix my party like I said I would. Oh, he's killing Rovella. Stop it. Oh, don't hurt him. He can't even pass level 60. Mean to bully him. Alright. Take 10, everyone. Okay. Now we can escape. Beat your first Zen. Zen are the, the mango headed dog creatures. I don't know why they're plant dog people. You know what? Plant dogs are pretty good. Which complete. Oh no, I'm under attack again. Like, uh, magic gathering. Bayou Groff. Is he a plant dog? I thought he was a dog. But I may just be remembering that incorrectly. Oh, he is a plant dog? Sweet. I'm fond of him. I think I like drafting Strixhaven better than the D&D &D set. So, there you have it. 
Everything I have taught you until now has been mistaken and heretical. I ask you to forget it all. But... I know that it will be hard on everyone who has come to have faith in the winged light, but... It's okay. It doesn't bother me too much. Oh, is this forgiveness? Not really. To be honest, the only reason I came to the sermons was for the blessings of the light you gave out. That's right. I liked the idea of the eternal youth and everlasting life thing, but I always thought it was a bit fishy. What? But don't worry about it. I'll keep coming to your sermons if I can get more of those blessings. Strixhaven way better, in your opinion? Learn lesson is a way better mechanic than dice rolling? Yes. I hate dice rolling. Dice rolling is like gambling. Learning and le lessons and learning is like... Like, way better. <laughs> you actually get things instead of just hoping that you don't you, you don't have a terrible role. Do you finally understand? Nobody ever actually believed in your teachings. No, I believe in you. I'll come with you to the Western Continent. We can study the teachings again and then spread the correct ones next time. Oh, those are truly kind words. How glad I am that there is at least one person who believes in me. Just so you know, this girl isn't interested in the light. She's simply in love with you. You keep that in mind. Although, I suppose to have a partner in life is a true lesson from the light. Yes, and it, yep, and it rewards good drafting of learns and lessons for your deck. Yeah, that, that was very nice. Dungeon's so meh, yeah. It was cool that one time, though, when we powered through that dungeon to get the 4-4 the, the four, four Death Toucher token dude. Yeah, that was kind of cool. But Strixhaven was just a lot more fun and interesting. Ugh, so there wasn't even one person who believed in my teachings. Well, that may be so, but don't be so hard on yourself. After all, the light cannot grant happiness or salvation anyway. Well, how could you say something like that as a servant of the light? My my, have I revealed my true nature? Hee hee, just kidding. Don't take me too seriously now. Oh, Rosetta, you are so annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rosetta. Just kind of creeped me out a bit. And with that, we're finally all done cleaning up around here. Right, it would be pretty bad if those mistakes got spread around. That's right. It would also cause many problems for the Order members working on this continent as well. So there are other Order members active on this continent too? But of course, Aldo. But Rosetta, you're kind of famous in the Order, huh? He called you the Child of Judgment, right? The priest was so shocked when he heard your name. Da, 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 da. You should know, Aldo, that most of the rumors you hear about me are not true. It's easier this way to get people to admit to heresy without calling them in for interrogation. Oh, I see. But, like, what sort of untrue rumors are there? Well, let's see. Well, for one, there have certainly been people who I accused who I could not pin down. Alright, so how many people have there been? You want a number? I mean, it's interesting. Hi, although you may seem naive and dull, but you really know how to get to the point. You would have a bright future with the Inquisitors. You think? But anyway, Rosetta, how many people have you been unable to confirm of heresy up to now? You're asking again, even after I changed the subject. Come on, it's interesting. I'll not be dissuaded. Suddenly, I feel like I'm the one being interrogated. That that's because you are. You are being interrogated, Rosetta. Oh, fine. I give up. I shall tell you the truth, Aldo. Up to now, the number of people I have been... Sorry, my Alexa was talking to me. Up to now, the number of people I have been unable to confirm of heresy is one. What? Only one? The rumors are basically true, then. But, but I called them into the interrogation room three times, and even then, I couldn't get them to crack. My pride as an Inquisitor was shattered. Rosetta! Wah, wah. You peek, it makes your fake crying look really bad. Rosetta, cut the crocodile tears. My, my, you saw through me, huh? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm telling you, Aldo, you would make a great Inquisitor. Quest complete!
Goodness, character quests are long. Although I think hers has a hers have a lot of dialogue. I think not all of them are quite that long. There, there. I can show you the single person she has accused three times of heresy and never been able to get to admit it. Cry! Woo. He's a healer. I am Pry. As part of my sacred duties, I am doing good works and keeping the peace. Powerful monsters prowl the roads hereabouts. Proceed with caution. If you run into difficulties, I hope you'll come with to me. As a servant of the Almighty, my help is free and available to all. Okay. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, I ran into monsters. I was about to stop and then I <laughs> and then I ran into a fight. Fine. Uh Teramus will handle it. Good work, Teramus. Okay, we'll just stop right here by, uh, by uh, Pry, because he's cool. Um, reminds me of Japan, where the police have a 90 plus percent conviction rate, since they will never admit that they are after the wrong person and will ever, only ever suspend investigations. Mm. Maybe that's where they got their ideas. It is a Japanese game, after all. Do -do -do -do. Did I? the game close okay anyway thank you for coming uh through that yeah i'll stream again probably sometime soon but i'm not sure when goodbye